Welcome back to the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Kelly Slater, the 11 time world champion, hitting the lineup now. He'll be in the red jersey up against the Tahitian Michelle Berez. The Spartan will be in blue. The former three time champ here, Joel Parkinson, in that last clash. But during the break, Michelle Berez got things started here, Ross. Well, Michelle Berez, you know, loving this new board under his feet. He looked really sparky on the Gold Coast. He's definitely kind of cleaned up his act. We can see a lot of bumps here for Michelle Perez to deal with. And a lot of times if you catch those big first waves, they're so bumpy. Uh, you know, it just really keeps you from performing. Second wave of the set, much cleaner on the face. Solid float here for Kelly, just getting down the line. Little sweeping cutback. Board looking really nice under Kelly's feet. And a beautiful closing. High risk tail slide for Kelly, but again, that end section has just been getting the best of most of these guys out here. It's so tough to ride out in front of it. I still love the fact that he gave it everything at the end of that ride. I feel like there's been some, some pretty good scores dropped for guys who he paced himself pretty well, didn't surf with too much risk and got an easy victory. And he was celebrating the fact his first heat win of the season. He's out of that second round for the first time since way back in 2011 on Kelly in this event back in those days uh, a couple of times. Um, but Kelly, he's usually got more highlights at events than he does low lights, and he's taken this event out four times. Well, here goes Surfing's Forest Gump now, having a look at this one. A medium-sized wave. Kelly's going to kick through the back. And it's funny, we talk about Kelly and... A bit of a change up from what he was riding on the Gold Coast. And starting to really find his feet on this piece of equipment. But that wave is a burger and he kicks out. Yeah, so Kelly uh, on the surge. He didn't want to milk that thing all the way to shore and just squeeze out a four. So pretty smart for him. Just get right back out to the lineup. Rookie of the year title. Uh, he just seems, well, Kelly's studying this wave. He's going to go, Ron. It's a smaller ride, and Kelly can't see any points down the line. He kicks out. Well, you know, what? A, it's very impressive for me. Just with the class that they show when they pull that jersey on, it would be a pretty fair call, as we see. Michelle Berez leaning into one of those heavy back-footed stomping snaps and still charging down the line with some speed now. Up into the lip one more time. And looking for a finish here on the inside. Just drifts that tail and pumps the fist. He likes it. That was Im beyond impressive surfing right there. Okay, watch this first turn. And that was very original. It was cool because that wave had to have looked pretty fast for him right when he stood up, but he still cho chose to hang out with that first turn. Uh, that took a lot of guts, and he pulled it off seamlessly. He kept his speed. This last maneuver is the best one. A lot of speed, got that whip and a tail, and he actually threw some spray, even though it was a tail slide. So somehow, Michelle, you know, he knows how to apply power even when he's getting his fins free. So great combination of maneuvers here. He's got power on display, he's releasing the fins, speed. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been mad at a, a nine or an eight five. That was, that was damn good surfing. But it could be uh, an all out end section bashathon in yeah. that third heat around four. I mean, I think the main thing for all of these surfers, not just Connor, but Michelle Perez, all of them, they have, you know, a list of maneuvers to go to. And the, the greater your list, the, the bigger advantage you have over the rest of the field. If you're one of those guys, as we see Michelle finish up there on a really solid backup score, if you're one of those guys that just has a few maneuvers that you like to go to, it's going to be obvious. You know, the whole field now is so well rounded. Beautiful bottom turn there from Kelly Slater. He had a nice steep angle of attack, so a couple of different types of moves here. Judges will like that, Ronnie. Very easy wow. to get kind of just sucked into the carve game. Three hefty maneuvers from Kelly. He's going to join the party. I'd have to say that's Kelly's best ride this season. So hopefully he can continue that roll in his next wave, because if he goes lateral, he could come up short for that score. We're seeing the replay of that maneuver, and as you said, Kelly just getting a little bit more vertical. Michelle Berez 
His approach has been a little bit more down the line, but he's been leaning so hard on his back foot. He's had some major turns too. Yeah, and, and again, you know, these surfers, they have a laundry list of maneuvers to go to. Go to. Uh, it's all about what will the wave allow you to do? You have to have reflexes. And for Kelly, this was a nice wave. It slowed down for him and it had a lip line. So, I mean, that's Dreamweaver for Bells. A lot of times you're kind of relegated to these cutback carves. But he kicked off the Gold Coast this year with a round two exit and potentially he could fall out of the mix here, but he's going to get an opportunity. He's going to get up just before the Hooter sounds here. And Kelly's after a 6.46. It's a small wave. He's going to try and surf his guts out on this wave. He kicks that tail, can't ride out of the turn. The 6.46 isn't going to come and Kelly is going to suffer another early round loss here at Bells Beach. Mick Fanning, the only surfer left in the draw capable of achieving that huge result. But the heat score totals 4.83 for Michelle, 13.7 for Kelly. Kelly had the highest scoring wave of the heat.